Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install this low end pack. For those of you that don't have a computer that is capable of running Power World, with this pack, you're probably going to be able to now finally run the game. Because as you can see, we have the lowest settings possible in Power World. So yeah, I'm going to teach you how to download and install this pack. Make sure you watch the video until the end and let's get started. By the way, guys, if you've been trying to create a server for Power World and you've been struggling, don't worry because Apex Hosting got you covered. If you use the first link in the description, not only would you get all these advantages, not only would you get a server that goes instantly online, a server that is hosted completely remote so you don't have to put your IP address at risk, you don't have to put your computer hardware at risk and your friends could join without any issues, you will also get 25% off your first server just by using that first link in the description. So I'm going to leave that link in there for you guys in case you want to set up a server where you could add your own mods and do anything you want because it's your server. Okay, once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. The first thing you want to do is click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to optimize Power World. Now, obviously, let's assume that you try to optimize Power World within the game and changing all the graphic settings and that didn't work. And now you want an actual FPS boost pack so you could actually play Power World in your low end PC. All you have to do then, once you're over here in the guide, is click where it says how to boost FPS in Power World, changing the .ini file. That is going to drag you down here. You could also scroll down yourself. And then, of course, feel free to read through those instructions right here. But if not, just go ahead and click where it says download. That is going to redirect you to this Google Drive page where you're just going to click download again in here. And then after a couple seconds, your download will begin. This is a zip file that contains a couple files that we're going to add into our game. Now, after your file has been downloaded, you can find it here. If you're using Chrome, it's going to be here in your downloads in the recent download history. Go ahead and drag and drop that folder into your desktop. I already had it here because, well, I made this folder for you guys. Once you have this folder, we now have to find the save files of Power World. To do that, go ahead and launch the file explorer and then head over to this PC where you're going to open your local drive, the C drive, and then you're going to find users right here. Then you're going to click where it says your username. In my case, it's Cuban. For you, it's going to be whatever your username is. Go ahead and click on that. Click on update data. And if you're not seeing the update data folder, make sure you click on view, click on show and click on hidden items in order for you to see the update data folder. Go ahead and open it. Click on local, click where it says, well, you're going to have to scroll down and find the PAL folder. You could also just press the letter P in your keyboard. If you press P, it's going to bring you down here to the P folders and then just find the PAL folder right here. Go ahead and open it, click on saved, click on config, windows. And then in here, we're going to drag and drop those files that we just downloaded. But before you do so, I recommend that you create a copy for the engine file, for the scalability file and for the game user settings. So select the scalability, press control, and then select the game users, keep control, hold down, and then press engine. And then you can make a copy of those three. Let's go ahead and create that real quick in here. This is like our backup in case we ever want to revert the settings back to normal, or in case that you get a better computer or whatever it is, you may be upgrade your computer and you might wanna put those files back in here to have the game looking normal. Anyways, once you made a copy of those files, go ahead and open that file we downloaded earlier and then find these three files in here in the Windows folder and just drag and drop them over here into the new Windows folder. You might have to replace files in the destination. Click yes, and then now you have the low FPS boost pack installed. We could go ahead and launch the game and test those out. And now when we head back into Power World, we could see that we have the game running in the very, very low settings. I know that these are very low settings. Okay, guys, but I know this is going to help some of you. Not everybody's able to play the game with the highest settings. Of course, you could always revert these changes if you save those files that I said, and you could even play around with the settings of this boost pack. If you head back into those files and you edit them with Notepad, you're going to be able to change a couple things around. If you were to open those files in Notepad, you're going to see here that you have a bunch of options that you can play around with. You could change the quality of certain things. If you go to the scalability file, you could play with the scalability here. So yeah, you always have the option to add more to this. And if you ever want to go back, you could always just change these files for the backup. Anyways, that has been everything from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are now able to play Power World, even if it's with very low settings. If this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.